Hey guys, today it's time for an informational video about factory resets. Uh, I've often heard questions like, will I lose this, will I lose that, what's gonna stay, what's gonna go? So I thought it was best to show by example. So, this is my now old daily driver, the Samsung Galaxy S4. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things. First of all, it's running Android version 5.0.1. Uh, if we go into Application Manager, we can see I have two apps disabled. And if we go into Storage, I have to say I've removed the micro SD card, so the only memory this phone now relies on is its internal memory. So we can see we have we have 2.93 gigabytes of applications and have 9.16 megabytes of pictures or video files and only 180 kilobytes of audio audio files. So basically we can go and check the gallery. Now we have only three uh, photos here, photos I just took for, for show. We can also check, we can also check my files to see, for instance, we've got one notification. So, what we're gonna do now is go into settings. We can see my two accounts here. Basically, that's what that's what we wanted to find out. And we're gonna select backup and reset options. And under backup and reset, we've got factory data reset. Once we click factory data reset. I'm gonna just cover my accounts but basically now we see a warning of what's gonna go so I'm just gonna select this button here which says reset device and I'm gonna confirm it Let me just enter my pin. So basically now we have to set the phone up again. All my previous settings are now obsolete. Okay, I'm just I'm just going to skip everything. Sorry. Okay, we are now done with the setup. You can 
right from the start notice everything is different the background is back to uh, back to is reset uh, the icons layout is reset but let's do a proper check we can now see our system hasn't been reset to a previous version your Android version is the same is the last updated version you had let's check storage you can see we've got now only 1.11 gigabytes of applications on the phone and 24 kilobytes of pictures and videos so if we go into our our gallery app we're not gonna find anything because it was on the phone's internal memory and it's now gone if we go into my files all files notifications none also let's check contacts settings contacts to display contacts on the device and we haven't got any because all the contacts that were on the device are now gone so I basically would recommend you sync your contacts to your Google account so you can not only do a factory res reset uh, but basically any any mobile phone you sign into using your Google account you're gonna have your contacts there now if we go into settings and under accounts you can now see none of the accounts are synced this is asking for my Google accounts sign in data so basically that's that and I just wanted to show you what you can expect and what it really means to factory reset your mobile phone so once again thanks for watching and until next time goodbye